Hello, my name is David Malin, and I'm the instructor for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet at Harvard University's Extension School. You're watching one of our videos of the week. For more such videos or information about this course, visit us on the web at computerscience1.org. Enjoy the show. Welcome, my name is Ray Diaz. I'm one of the teaching fellows for Computer Science E1, Understanding Computers and the Internet. So if you're running an older version of Windows, or if you just need to uh, install a fresh version, basically what you would do is go out and buy yourself a copy of Windows XP, be it Home, uh, Media Center Edition, or Professional, pop it into your CD drive, uh, and boot off of it. So we're gonna do that right here, and pause video. So now we're booting off of this, the Windows XP CD. It's going to inspect our system and see what we've already got on here. Uh, if we have an older version of Windows or not and we're trying to upgrade, or if we have something else entirely. If we have a brand new hard drive that has absolutely nothing on it at all, and it's going to react appropriately. Uh, for the sake of this demonstration, we do have a, a hard drive with absolutely nothing on it at all. Essentially, once we're at a point where we can interact with the setup, uh, installing Windows is just like following a complicated uh, software installation wizard. If you've ever downloaded something on the internet, a game or a piece of useful software, uh, and followed the next, 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 next wizard, uh, essentially, uh, installing Windows XP is just like that. Uh, the confusing part starts at the beginning when you have an ex a completely blank disk and you need to partition and format it. And we're at this point right now. But fortunately, uh, at the bottom of the screen, you will always be prompted with some kind of hint how to continue. Uh, to continue uh, with the setup, I'm going to hit enter. Uh, I'm going to agree with the end user licensing agreement by hitting F8. And I'm prompted here to partition my completely blank disk. Uh, so I'm going to hit enter again and format the petition using the NT file system. Once uh, Windows has copied uh, files from the CD to your uh, hard drive, uh, you'll be prompted to reboot. And then we're in uh, Windows XP. 